Hi, um, my name is Antunde, and I'm trying to explain Chef Inspec. Now, Chef Inspec allows you to test your Chef code. For example, in this particular cookbook called Customer, I have a recipe called, this is the recipe, Web Recipe. And inside the recipe, I specify that chefs should install this package and also to make just to install this package. Now, how do I ensure that chef actually install the package? One thing I can do is I can actually, you know, go to port 80 and ping port 80 and see if port 80 is listening, right? Another thing that I can do is I can use what we call Chef Inspect. Chef Inspect allows you to test your code and make sure everything is working as it should be. So what you simply do is you go to your test folder under your cookbook and for each recipe there is like a file, a test file. For example, for this cookbook, web.r, there is a there's another file called web.r under test. This is where you write your test code. So yeah, this is my test code. This is an inspect code. So I'm saying chef should make sure that this package httpd is installed. And also make sure port 80 is listening. So this, this is your test. Now, okay, so right now, if I run this code, let me clear. How do I test it? The first thing is we need to make sure we run our cookbook. I'm going to use kitchen. Kitchen. Converge. If you run kitchen converge, chef is going to run whatever you specify here. And I specified customer web recipe, which is this guy. So chef is going to run that particular recipe. All right. Good. Now the, the recipe has been run through um kitchen converge. Now how do I make sure that everything is the way it should be? I'm going to use chef and spec by running you know my tests. All you have to do is just type in kitchen kitchen you see verify. Once you run kitchen verify, so chef is going to look into your your virtual box, which was spin off, and run this test and tell you the output. For example, I told it to check if to check if um, the package HTTP is installed. Check it's installed. I also told it to check if port eight is listening. It's listening. And if you notice, there's something called user root exists. It's in this test. There's a test here that, that told um, Chef in spec to make sure the user root exists. Right? So once you run kitchen verify, Chef is going to test all the, is going to run all the test file under your test recipes. Now that kitchen inspect for now, and now chef has another one called chef inspect. Chef inspect differs from kitchen inspect in the fact that chef inspect actually runs all your code and simulates it in memory, hence it's faster. Kitchen inspect spins off a virtual machine to test your code in, but chef inspect simulate your code in memory so i'm going to talk about that in the next video thank you very much